Hello Axie family, hello fellow Lunasians. This is Marvin of uh, Axie Mamba for our third and final video on how to build your uh, poison team. So now for our third video, we'll talk about our backliner. I think um, can be the most important Axie of your team because um, it's usually the last to survive unless uh, your opponent is using ambush and killing your backliner usually the backliner is um, the one who uh, is the last to survive so it has to be uh, quite powerful but at the same time um, should be sort of interchangeable with their midliner because same principle um, against ambush teams um, the midliner will also be the one to survive so you can interchange them also uh, this is important because if, once you ha if you have uh, Venoki uh, for me I put Venoki in the middle so the backliner has to be able to uh, do some damage because Venoki can do some a bit uh, some damage but doesn't have Gila so I usually prefer to put Gila at the back uh, going back to our document so just a recap for frontliner um, usually have um, the horns with shield um, and yam or tiny dino while the midliner we should put the Silence Whisper, uh, again Horns, um, well for f uh, for budget it's same as uh, Scaly Spoon because you have a lot of this in the market. Uh, but for uh, premium midliner you can put Oranda Dual Blade if you have Chubby aside from Scaly Spoon. Uh, tail, Gila or Grass Snake uh, for budget. Then, uh, same for uh, midliner. You can also put yam here. Yam, if you don't have yam. If no yam in front. You want to have at least a yam, gila, grass snake. Or you can also have yam, gila, gila. Okay, for the backliner, uh, sort of the same. Tiny, turli, tiny Turtles, Scaly Spoon for budget. This is budget. Um, and again, Gila Grass Snake. So if you don't have um, Gila here, uh, you can put Gila at the back. But you sh also, now I'm playing with double Gila. So in fact, you can put two Gilas. But if you have Grass Snake, Yam, definitely gri Gila at the back. Um, and for premium, let's look at the options in the marketplace. Reptile, Green Thorn, Small Frill, the usual Gila, Grass Snake, a Gecko, Tiny Turtle. I also put Razor Bite. Um, let's try to put Side Barb as well. Uh, you have other options aside from Reptile. You can also experiment with um uh plant dusk uh or some have mech mech poison really depends bug poison but for this build i'm trying to create triple reptile or i mentioned in the first video you can also put the frontliner dusk so for this video we'll be uh, using um triple reptile but again it depends on you depends on your budget your preference also of course the meta so well first i'd like to show you uh before we go further I'll show you my as example no in, in my inventory so i have the plant if you remember this guy in the other video with uh, potato leaf and um, basically this is a sleep poison it's another option I also have Dawn. Uh, just one part is um, green thorns at, ba at the back is poison. Um, so I was able to use this uh, 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 a lot. 
Um, yeah, my Rancho Rero. This is quite rare, so let's see if we have Rancho uh, as an option as well. Um, better um, partner it with Gila, like what I do. So, okay, so for budget, so yeah, wow, this is side barb with beach at $12. Let's see, this can be a good option. Razor bite, but doesn't have, depends if you have chubby in your other axes. Um, this one is good for additional um, additional shield at the back. But yeah, so I prefer Gila at the back. But these are good options. This one, like my other Axie with Arco. But I won't um, recommend for now. Um, depends if we have Rancho. Let's try to put Rancho as an option. Uh, there's a Rancho here. But uh, Antenna. This one is also good with Oranda. If you don't have Oranda in your middle, uh, in your, as your middle axis. So let's see. So let's put it at uh, $18 as uh, budget. As our budget for the back because expensive na nga. Uh, yung mga gila and um okay this one with grass snake aranda again aranda can help you uh dispel or remove um rage from your opponent especially uh, rage teams uh in the end game grass snake adds uh, additional poison this is 13 so this is a good option for um budget backliner okay five seven six two five two at fifteen dollars this one seventeen dollars this one fifteen dollars fifteen dollars okay let's start with this one cheaper uh if it's any good uh beach lose fifteen so what I don't like ab about beach is that you lose the 15% HP. So, but yeah, you can really put some damage. And this is side barb, adds 4 poison, uh, consume spike to deal pure damage, add 4 poison. Mm, yeah, this can at twelve dollars this can be a good uh, option for the backliner for damage again so you put it here and then this one at fifteen dollars with Mary um tiny turtle gila And the third one, which we put 576 again here with the Oranda. So, yeah. Did you have Gila? So, again, make sure if you, you put, you if you choose Grass Snake, you have Gila in the, in the middle. So, let's put here uh, Grass Snake. Gila. Okay, it should be uh, in the budget option. Okay, let's see the the more expensive ones. We have Ranchu at seventeen point ninety nine. So you have to uh, ensure that you have Gila again in the middle so that you can use the combo Rancho and then Gila for additional damage. 
Okay, since this is seventeen dollars, let's put this as a another option. Okay, there, branch shoot. Uh, okay, but uh, we can also put this in the middle. Actually, as a midliner, the the downside with branchu. Uh, if uh, this backliner is the last surviving Axie so this is AOE so it you usually use this um, if you have uh, plenty of opponents left but it's, if it's 1v1 then it's a disadvantage for you but yeah we can put this again also here I partner with Gila. Gila. So if I have Rancho here, you have to have Gila here. Okay. I put here uh, whether this is Gila or not. Later on. All right. Um. Okay. So this is the Rancho one. Okay, the, let's look at the other options for. Let's look for Gila. Yeah, this one looks good. It's at um, twenty dollars. You have wing horn, so it gives uh, uh, additional damage, feather dagger, and then you have gila. But the problem, uh, this is mm -hmm. this is uh, again same two energy, two cards with two energy requirement. So yeah, no, let's pass. Um okay. Let's try this one with spear. So usually we partner this with another um axi with spear um for additional damage. Um not really a fan of that. Let's try to look for other gila. This one, Gila with, um, uh, what do you call this? A scaly spoon and side barb. At twenty one dollars. Okay, let's put him here. Under premium. Okay. Uh, this one, since you have tiny turtle, watermelon can stun your opponent, especially in the end game. And this one, um, with uh, Shoal Star, also good option. Also in the end game, it's quite similar to my other axi, the one with Gila, watermelon. So if you don't know what watermelon does. Um, you can target any enemy and targets with sleep you can add 15 damage and apply 5 more sleep uh, you usually partner with tiny turtles so if you have tiny turtles in your team then this can be a good option to, to stun your opponent um, 505 this is 22 dollars and then the one with the uh, shoal star yeah target enemy on targets with less than 90 um hp zero shield deal 90 damage so yeah this is another option it has retained 13 reptile points okay gila as well okay let's see 
more expensive. So now let's just just look at the gila. Uh, the problem here, gila with pokey, it has I think, yeah, uses two energy as well. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, one energy. Two hits, two of us, and uh, apply two taunt. Yeah, not really also a fan of this. So, you can use this grass snake if you have Gila in the midliner. Um, but did we skip others with Gila? Uh, with grass snake? Yeah, we've been looking at only only gila again i think this one has antenna not also a fan of antenna let's look at the higher no this one has grass knee but yeah, again we want gila this one has razor bite can add uh can add bleed but doesn't match with watermelon so you won't don't want that so another more expensive version of our option earlier Kestrel another spear mm -hmm. mm. what about this Gila with Oranda and razor bite $28 dollars Adds bleed, Oranda, some damage. So this is a good backline, backliner for me. Uh, Twenty-eight dollars. Okay. Let's try to skip a few. Let's say at uh, ten. Mm hmm. So yeah see this is quite similar to my axi at forty dollars wow forty seven dollars mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this one has uh serastis uh I don't really like serastis because um yeah, although it scares your opponent, doesn't have that shield, but can be. Uh, this has 13 experience points, so. But not for me. Um, this one has uh, Babylonia. Let's look at this one. Yeah. Applies vulnerable. Ambush. Can target the closest, so can be good uh, combo with Gila so uh, this is at almost $50 also Gila so again no, it, um, your tails should match um, with your midliner and frontliner so again, you can use double gila, yam, or gila rancho yam, or gila grass snake yam. So it depends on um, your preference. So let's try to go to the next page. Uh, let's try to go to twelve. First, uh, usually what I do, I go through each page, um, so that. Uh, you can see uh, all options for you mm -hmm. nothing really jumps out uh, these are just quite more expensive we've seen a few of them already like Oranda with 
gila and watermelon with gila just have i think that's why expensive there have more experience okay let's last one let's try to go to 19 and, uh, that we can see here anything different there's leaf bug but i think there's more are more cheaper options let's see why why is this expensive 300 okay wow adds cocoon yeah i don't understand why it's ex it's expensive but probably yeah um usually used uh, not in the front line um i don't know but yeah a bit expensive for me let's see if it's, there's a cheaper one there's 50 dollars gila anyway might be expensive for a reason okay let's just remove that i think we have a good team already so yeah grass snake um yeah the ones that we saw this leaf bug this babylonia at 49 dollars so let's put here uh horns under premium oranda as well um short star watermelon on a side barb okay this is okay so yeah i think we have a complete team we can we can try to recreate a team here using team builder so reptile Let's try to recreate a uh, sort of premium Let's use gecko small fail of course So this is our midliner, green thorns, yam, um, okay, mouth is silence whisper, yes, so. horns is horns would be scaly spoon tilly shell premium would be dual blade or aranda let's try aranda or let's just use uh, sure. still use scaly spoon for shield tail would be either gila grass snake or yam so we can use Grass snake. Okay. Front would be. Ah, uh, sorry. Back will be reptile. Okay. Um, same. Can you get? Do you have a gecko in the back? Backliner. Gecko. Uh, okay, ears 
more frill again. Green thorns. Mouth. Um, what do we have? Tiny turtle. Premium. Tiny turtle as well. Horns. Um, we have watermelon or oranda. Let's put oranda. And gila, of course. Here we put poison touch. And here we use Venokis Poison. Yeah, this is how I usually build my team. Let's look at the concise view. Front Axie has Gecko. Yeah. So Yam, Grass Snake, Gila. With Oranda, at the Horns, Silence Whisper in front. But again, um, this can be ideal, but uh, as you see in this um, document, you have plenty of other options. Uh, yeah, it really takes time to study, to build a new team. Um, that's why I myself have ex has experimented with a number of different combinations. And what I shared with you uh, is the one that worked for me. Hopefully, it uh, this team, this kind of team, works for you as well. So that ends our three-part series on how to build your poison team. Hopefully, I was able to help and uh, give you guidance so that you can start building your team and dominating in Axie Origins. Thanks again, everyone. Peace. Bye.